Hey everybody, what's up? It's Hi. Trent Michael. Why buy you recent supply? Y'all come on in, say hello. <clears throat> I don't see us. Well, it'll be there in a minute. And spread the love. Ha, huh. you never forget that part, do you? Here we are. There we are. Come on in. Right. Yeah, we're gonna make a swag teardrop tonight. Hey, Susan. Huh. You know you're just gonna make the baby mat. Hey, Mary, y'all come on in and say howdy. We thought we would go live before. Still fuzzy. Thought we'd go live before Palan does class at seven. What time she does Seven thirty. Oh, seven thirty. Hey, Leah. Thank you, Karen. Hey, everybody. We are working on trying to figure out why our lives are fuzzy. Hey, Melissa and Gil. Hey, Miss Patty. Trent can answer that. What? Are you feeling better? I am, Patty. Thank you for asking. Hey, Eileen and Miss Inger. I don't think we have these left. Mm, I don't know. They were cheap. In price. Hey, Mary I and Doris are. and Debbie. Is this does the screen fuzzy on y'all's end like the picture <clears throat> hey Liz what's up Cheryl and Miss Trust Claire hey Claudette y'all be sure to spread the love I was thinking about old Claudette the other day when she told us don't buy an RV <clears throat> don't buy one you'll regret it she was right Yes, fuzzy. Yeah, oh, y'all, we don't know what's going on. Somebody, some people are saying no. Hey, Tammy. Cheryl's is always fuzzy. Something's up, and we're not sure what it is. It's something to do with either this Mevo or the iPad. Or both. Claudette, so ours has been in the shop after our first trip, and we got it back. Got an order update. Honey. Then we went on our second trip and we dropped it back off at the shop on the way home and that's where it's been the last two months I've made a payment is in the shop thanks Claudia y'all we'll get the fuzzy thing fixed I just don't know what's going on um some of this ring hey Miss Kathy and Deborah. so we're fluffing hey Donna it has been a long time since... Y'all, it's been three weeks since we've been live. <clears throat> oh, Claudia, I don't even think about that. I just want it fixed. I mean, there's not much left to replace on it at this point. She gonna be completely new. It already has one new air conditioner. They're replacing the second air conditioner now. Let's take <clears throat> happy thoughts. Let's fill the world with... Happy, positive thoughts. Deborah says, not fuzzy mm -hmm. for me. Hey, Jen. Happy, I hope, indeed, yes. Happy thoughts. Well, you weren't real happy the other weekend when yeah. all that happened. Thanks to Jenny. Hey, Patricia and Liz. It's a new one. Trent looks so thin. He's a skinny mini, y'all. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Jim. Gina Jim. Hey, Jenna. Jenny, what's up? <coughs> oh, I have. For our 
believe Christmas events that is coming up in about three weeks. Yep. Let me post a link for that. Uh, it's a it's a travel trailer. It's a Winnebago. Ah. We bought the good kind because we heard that wouldn't nothing would happen. So, I think we could have just bought the cheapest thing and it would have <clears throat> fallen apart too. All right, let's see what kind of ribbon we have. Live stream tickets, y'all. So, if you want to be part, uh, if you couldn't be part of the in-person live Christmas event that we're having in person in about two to three weeks, we're ha we have live stream tickets. Oh, and I can do this. Gotta get my Believe live stream. I'm trying to find my cursor so I can find it to post for y'all. Oops, that's the old site. Hey, Jordan, what's up? What's up, Jordan? You can use the discount. I'm finding it. Here it is. Let's go. What's going on here? It's on the website, whitebodysupply.com. I just got it. It's the very first item. I've got it pinned it's not to the bottom. It's complicated. <laughs> it is pinned to the bottom. It's not that complicated. Y'all, is it cool at y'all's house yet? Because. Hey y'all, I'm going to come to the store tomorrow for a few things. I believe that that is... Is that Renee? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Come see us. We'll be there. I won't be there. You're not going? Trent's not sure he's ready to go back to work yet. Y'all, it's 95 here today. The next Saturday we are open. So the Ooh. that will be the first weekend in November. No, in October. That's this weekend. It'll be next weekend. Hold on. Hold please. We could do that one. We'll be open starting the weekend of the seventh. We will be October open the seventh. And that will be our open for October. And then we'll be open the first weekend in November, which is November 4th, is our open house, Christmas open house. <clears throat> yes, that's Renee. I thought that was you. I thought that was you. Y'all, I love this ribbon. That ribbon is so thick, y'all. Love it, love it, love it. It's gross hot here still. Somebody got a live stream. It was Jenny. Miss Jenny Sanchez. Jenny, let us know if you get an email. Yes, let me know if you got an email after the purchase email. <clears throat> With instructions. With instructions. This ribbon is juicy. That's one who went a big trailer. She bought it new, and that's nothing but profits. But well, now you know two people, Gail. Juicy. I think they're all just tin cans rolling down the road, well, waiting are. to fall apart. Juicy. Juicy. We have one air conditioner going and a little fan trying to. That's juicy. Hey, at least I didn't. I didn't just the first email. Well, check your spam, Jenny. Let me look at my app. Let me go to this app that's supposed to be sending emails. Jenny. Then let me go into flows. Flows. Gingerbread. Gingerbread meat. Do y'all like? Well, what's your favorite Christmas thing? Traditional? Gingerbread man? Peppies? 
Um, do y'all like Blue Christmas, Snowman? Do y'all do a theme? Do y'all do areas of your house that have themes? This is a large multi-part question here. Why is it not? Maybe the Green Monster is your jam. Y'all, I'm almost smart enough to make things work, but apparently not smart enough to make this work. Hey, Jill. Well, Kaflugan-Nugan. I guess we're going to have to manually send them. I have all this fancy hey, what are you doing? apps and hey. programs that hey. are supposed to hey. do stuff. He's over here just like doing his little eat thing where he eats Carpet? random stuff to... Hey. What should we do? Looking for an expensive rug that you want? Jax has <clears throat> been looking for something to eat today. I think to make him vomit. Yeah. I like... Like an, ex like an expensive rug yes. which we can't have anymore. Well, he's eating the rug pad. He really likes wool rugs. <clears throat> He's been outside. He had plenty of grass to eat. He wants to eat grass. Claudette got an email. Does it have a link? And this says it's, not, it's never sent any emails. No. You didn't get the email I'm talking about. Oh, hi, Sam. Well, hi there. Hey, Roxanna. Did you have a nice day today, Sam? Mantha? You're just waking up? Jordan is kind of a whimsical tradition. Get out of there, little. Hey. Vacuum cleaner? Well, I don't want you to eat something and get sick. My name is too you call him. Hey. Hi, Meg. Leah got a ticket. Alright. No meal. He's got, um. Leah. Well, yeah. He didn't get it fixed then, Jenny. Wait. What's up, Levon? I've been fine. I must have... My immune system must be good, or my vaccines must be working, or something. Because I didn't get it. But you're fine. I'm just going to scoot you. I prefer... Just those to go. I prefer candy whimsical Christmas. Hey. Do I get that? Well, it's, anything will be better than last year. We it didn't get better than last year. Too mm -hmm. bad you had surgery and couldn't do anything. We didn't have a Christmas tree last year. Mm -hmm. Hey, Patty, got my for my order today. Get that me. is hot over there. What's up, man? Control the dogs. Hey, get over here. Deep, 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 deep. Sit, sit. Look at this baby. Thank you. Why are these dogs being crazy? Mama, they're crazy. No worries, I'll be. I don't think he's got to go down. Alright, you come sit in the lap. Let's talk to folks. We didn't have any tree last year, Woodland was two years ago. We got stuff for a new we tree, got stuff but I don't know if we're going to do that. <laughs> a woodland, but I'd have to search high and low to find it all. I know where it's at. This was the colors I can show you. So, we have a fabulous new Santa Claus hat Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for y'all to see it. Y'all, it's literally, it's a tree that looks like a large Santa hat. And the hat tips over. Jack says he's really looking forward to peeing on it. Mm -hmm. That tree ain't going in our house. What? That's too whimsy. That's too whimsy? Oh, it's totally going in the house. You're not going anywhere, so just. No. He's not going anywhere. He's right there. This is the colors. Them. Are we? Yeah, that goes with all that stuff we bought last year. I have no recollection. It's like a blue and a burgundy. Okay, 
think we have any burgundy ribbon, do we? I think that's what that's for. One roll? Yeah, we just need one roll. What is that? Are they a fair silk? Uh, I think it's all. The male person. Nope. They can handle it without you. Nope. Alright, go. Y'all, I love that it's hiding. <laughs> it's hiding everything that says balls. It's because y'all are nasty. Well, you could have been me today. Uh, what did I say on a Zoom call this morning? Oh, I was on a work call and we were talking about towing components, hitches and trailers and Interesting. trailering things on a Zoom call. And I said, <clears throat> and I quote, I wouldn't worry about selling one of those displays because the only thing you're going to sell off of it is a handful of balls. And collectively across the call, all I heard was little schoolhouse giggling. <laughs> it was like, y'all are all 12 years old. Oh, he's going to be cute up in there. He's cute. Look. Hey, Carol. It's been a long uh -huh. week in the shop. Hey, Miss Carol Kohler. Is he eating that rug? He's eating it. All right, come here. You're sitting in my lap. I don't know what his problem is. He's, he's eating something and he wants to throw up. Well, I don't know what he's ate. So whenever he eats something he shouldn't, he tries to eat. He tries to eat something to make him throw up. Like grass. Grass. Wool rugs do not grass make. make. Do you know how many rugs you've ruined? It's like, I don't care. I don't care. All right, he's going to go in there. Kathy says, Trent, you look great. <clears throat> Thank you, Kathy. Trent is back to... Pre pre wedding weight. So that's a skinny mini. Jax has lost a little bit of weight too. So they starved me. That's why I'm eating rugs. Cheryl, if he threw up on me, I would throw up. He would die. I would die. I would also throw up. Cheryl, die. Just die. Not really good with bodily fluids. I'd be alright. I'll keep going. Pee, poo. Yeah, he's like, right now he's trying to, he's got the hiccups. What have you eaten? So this will be an all night thing mm -hmm. now. We'll be up trying to eat rugs and whatnot. Miss Teresa said you are looking great. Thank you, Teresa. Alright, let's get some more stuffies in here. That's awesome, Claudia. Pam, his most recent stint was uh, E. coli and COVID. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was his final weight loss. Mm. E. coli really does it for you. He was on his weight program. Both. Carol, <laughs> both. We both collectively lost weight. And he got sick last week and went to the hospital for a day. And then while he was at the hospital, we picked think, up new picked up COVID. Mmm, Meg, that's always fun. They always send that home with us. No, he's better now, Carol. Um, they always send that home for us and want us to do it, and I'm like, mm, that's a hard pass. Yeah, we don't do it. If you can't get it there, you don't get it. Shh. 
Carrie said you're happy you're feeling better. Oh, it was, it was touch and go. He was having, he would, he would have, he kept having a fever, y'all, and he would hallucinate. I have heard so much about the woman in gold with the snake. She wanted me to go with her. This is my time. No, y'all, we both went on a weight loss program to lose weight, but he just recently lost more weight because he was sick. <clears throat> oh, Meg says she got E. coli. They thought he had been to, uh, where'd they think he'd been? Mexico? Yeah. Um, well, there is a, um, outbreak of E. coli right now in hamburger meat. I think he got it from McDonald's. I think I got it from chicken salad. I mm. ate the same chicken salad. Well, oh, I ate a different, different one. Like, he was talking crazy. I gave you the good one. I thought this one might be a little iffy, so I didn't give it to you. Seriously? Mm -hmm. You gave me an, you get, you ate an iffy chicken salad. Well, couldn't have you dying on me. You I took one time for the team. You just didn't want to deal with the. I didn't want to take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, it gets better, y'all. So, this whole time when he gets sick is in the middle of tinsels and Jim. was in the middle of tinsels and treasures which is the junior league's big fundraiser thing here that we agreed to do um well when i say we bit off way more than we can chew and that that was a lot of work well the day that we had to move in we had a u-haul loaded full of stuff to go to the civic center this one's, that was the on, day I died. this one's on the sofa dying when I'll just drive myself home and I'm like, no, you won't. I thought they were going to find me at the warehouse with a cat eating my body. So luckily, I, some friends of ours came and helped me. And then the next day, his parents came to town because they were coming anyway to help. So he's texting me the next day, I think I need to call an ambulance. I'm like, why don't you just get your parents to take you. I don't want to bother them. I'm like, they are your parents. They're not going to be bothered. So, his parents took him to the hospital, and now they both have COVID. Yeah, they have sick too. Yeah, high fever is not fun. Hey, Miss Mary, Sam said, ah, oh, the memories. <laughs> So somehow the girls managed to not strangle me or get sick. Your grocery shopper has checked out. I know, out. and she changed something on me. She's replaced your My mashed potatoes. Your mashed potatoes. Well, All right, we're gonna add in some velvet red velvet leaves. These are magnolia Jenny, leaves. This was a ten by thirty. And because well, it was someone junior league, may, may have tried to pack more and than because it was junior league, league, we were trying to, you know, put on a show. Because it's a it's a good clientele that comes through there. That's a lot of work. <laughs> hey, Miss Mary. It has been a long time. Mine's usually ten by twenty, but it's still a lot of work. Yeah. We all saw pictures if you follow our Facebook page. If you don't follow our Facebook page, make sure to give us what a like and a follow. <clears throat> Y'all, these leaves are really, really cute. It's just laying there. I'll go overhead. So. The red magnolia leaves. We also have them in red and white. This little, like gin a pippy. This little gingy spray is super, super cute. And this ribbon has the thickest wire I have ever, like, you'll do whatever you want it to. Shall <laughs> succeed in a major kick. 
y'all, the event was, it was good for one main thing, exposure. Um, our in-person traffic this week has been through the roof. So that part was good. It was still good. It was just a lot of work, y'all. Like, a lot. Thank you for the stars, Georgia. Georgia Brown. <clears throat> So y'all, if you are waiting to buy Christmas stuff, all of Christmas yes. is in. Bad decision. There is no more coming. And a lot of stuff like this flocked pine that was a huge spray and was like five something dollars. It's already gone. So don't wait, y'all. Mine's ten by ten by hanging glasses up. Yes, I bet it is. You have to be very careful. What's up, Justin Green? Justin, I have been feeling fabulous. I was never sick. Patient zero here, however. Typhoid Mary? Typhoid Mary was the one that was sick. But he's obviously feeling better if he's up and crafting. I had a liquid IV today. Is that all you've had? Yeah. Y'all, we are both firm believers now in something called liquid IV. Mm, no, I don't like that one. It's very tricky. That would go. That would go. I love how you're making these decisions with me. I'm very good at picking things out. And I probably could have made this. Is this on the mixed pine teardrop? Mm -hmm. So y'all, the regular 36 inch teardrops that we normally sell, For two. we sent them back to the vendor because two. that we could have sold them, but y'all would have been mad. Y'all would have been mad. And we, we were mad. Just said I saw his, what is liquid IV? I'll show it to you. I'll, it's I'll make a little soon. drinky thing. It's like a what's those immune booster thingies? Uh, like airborne. Airborne, but better. They're also really good after a night. Now let me just tell you. Cocktailing. The orange is the only one you want to buy. You might think fruit punch sounds good. Our lemon lime. I thought the lemon lime was fine. Look, it looks like this. And no, I'm not endorsed by them. <laughs> Liquid IV Hydration Multiplier Immune Support Drink powered by CTT. This is tangerine. It's my favorite. It's 560% of your daily vitamin C, 100% of zinc. Okay, well, first off, that math does not make sense. 550%? Your body can only absorb the 100%. Okay, doctor. Add one How can you have 500% of something? No, Sam, your little break thing that you gave me the other day almost killed me too. So it's really good. You've uh, been overserved a night before. I highly suggest taking one of these. Can I buy pneumonia and she and have COVID can do me and have to skip next year? Oh no, Elaine. Elaine, that's awful. You called her the wrong name. I did call her the wrong name for a second, but I corrected it. Just because I called Trent was name. extremely weak. He also moaned a lot. Y'all ever watched Harry Potter moaning Myrtle? <laughs> uh, Look at this little guy. Uh, Got so bad at one point, I about to put it on headphones. He just left. Left me. Left me for dead. Where did I leave you? You went to the other room. Well, that I listen to all this, I'm going to the other room to sleep. I ain't going to get a lick of sleep tonight listening to all this. I wasn't sleeping in the same room because you have COVID. We didn't know I had COVID at that point. Well, I didn't want E. coli either. <laughs> And you were just <coughs> moaning and hacking. And... Is it hacking? I was just dying. <laughs> I 
I'll check on you in the morning. Well, as usual, luckily for him, his mother was here to mother him. I said, just go on without me. If something happens, just you can go on. I want you to live your life. <laughs> Just Usually when I'm sick, that's the first thing I want. It's my mother. Go on without me. This ain't the Oregon Trail. <laughs> Go on without you. Oh, that's cute. Y'all, I'll tell you a funny story that my mother said to me. This was many, many years ago. She was, I was sick. Trent, you remind that reminding me of this toe. I was sick and she came over to my house. God, this was you know, this was early two thousands. And she said, I just worry about you not ever having a wife. And I said, Why? She goes, Well, she goes, Men are just horrible caregivers. So whenever you find someone, I'm not sure what the two of you are gonna do. <laughs> I said, well, hopefully you'll still be around. I feel like I'm a very good caregiver. With that said a minute. I didn't realize you were doing gingies. Yeah, gingerbreads. Uh, Debbie, that is basically what Trent also has. You coughed a little bit, but not much. Cricket. No, it wasn't even um, snotty. <clears throat> now, every time I like have to clear my throat, I wonder. Carol says I'm a very bad sick person. Carol, that is very true. <laughs> Carol, he ripped the, his toenail off the other day. How did we do that? Y'all. How did we do that? How we went you? to dinner. Oh, I he remember. He had been wanting to go to dinner. I remember how we did it. Never mind. Oh, now you've already started it. So, Y'all, we went to dinner. To his favorite restaurant. I got that. It felt better. But De so, Debbie, Trent took that. I took that and then it relapsed. And that's what the doctor told him was like, we don't ever give that to people because it makes you feel better and then you, most of the time you relapse right back into it. Why did you give it to me? Right. Um, all right, so we went to men or crybabies when they're sick, think they're dying. That's me, Tara. Although he was pretty much I was, doing the diet. I was really dying though. So back to the toenail story. Okay. We go to this favorite restaurant we have a couple of drinks. And then our best friends here text and said, meet us out for a drink. We never do anything. We never go out. So we went and met them. She was already a couple of drinks in. What was a couple more? I was overserved. I proceed to come home. I really don't know what I was doing, but apparently I got up and went to the bath, the guest bath, or no, the hall bath, whatever, the half bath, and on my way back to the bedroom, forgot that the dog gate, not like a slide gate, like a accordion type fold out gate, was up, y'all, I went, Kaboom! face first over the fence, my foot got caught in the fence, ripped my big toe toenail off. I then fell completely into the dining room table, pushed it halfway across the kitchen, landed on my left knee, which I could barely walk on for a week, and just decided that Trent didn't care because he didn't come to see what happened, slept on the kitchen floor. I didn't, I was asleep. He didn't hear any of that. Like, it sounded like, I'm sure, the house was falling. Y'all. Uh, you'd be alright. I wasn't that drunk. I just felt really sad for myself when it happened. And that cold floor felt kind of good, so I just stayed there. 
was lovely. <laughs> Jill said that's a bad bag. Uh, we do have 17 inch, and Cheryl just posted a link to it. I think I'm doing. To y'all, I'm, I, neither one of us drink very often at all. So, oops. Yes, now I can laugh about it. I keep trimming that toenail about once a week, trying to make it even out. Look more even, but I think it's going to be a long time. <laughs> it's going to be a long time. This is really, really cute. Do you have the numbers? For what? <laughs> he finds it. I wasn't that drunk. Yeah, right. Mm. <laughs> just trying to make myself believe that. For this, I want to just see if we really have any of that left. Um, it's one of these. That's, it's a Craig Botman tag. I was trying to see if we have any more that left, y'all, because it's really good stuff. Oh, what is this? <clears throat> no, we do have it. See, so y'all, the number for this pine flock is XS6029. Snow. 36 inch snowed long needle pine spray. Uh, swag. Two. Ooh, yikes, Debbie. That doesn't sound fun. Somebody asked tonight about the hanger for the thing. Look, y'all, when you hang these, you just take two of these ties from the back and twist them together and make a hanger. And it's really good, especially if you have two, if you're doing double doors or whatever, your customer can kind of adjust these. If it needs to go lower, then you can lower it, raise it, whatever you need to do. So it comes with like this little key ring hanger. That ain't never gonna work for nothing. So just make you a hanger in the back. So what do y'all think about a new segment on the show? No. <laughs> no? He's saying no before I ever even read it. We were just. Y'all ever seen on the Tonight Show where they, the celebrities read the mean tweets about them? So instead of mean tweets. Called angry tweets. We could read mean emails we can read from our, customers. He wants to read our ugly emails from people. I find them very comical. We don't get them that often. It would be a once a year segment. This is. This it's usually one, just from the same person. This one is usually. This one's probably this year's best one. Oh well, I guess that got shut down. All right, y'all. Um, so, hold on. Sam, you can read it anytime. That would be hysterical. Can I read the one? Just. You can read it. It's kind of ridiculous, but... Do you honestly think I would ever buy anything from you again? You screwed me out of $40 that I didn't really have, but I needed the supplies. You're stealing money from a 73-year-old widow living off Social Security. You not only took my money, but you took my supplies. I would never buy from you again or watch you. Trust me. I'll tell everyone. That's the most recent one. Wow. Y'all, they've never even ordered from us. They've never ordered from us. That's the even the worst part. If they are a follower, hi. Hi, you've never placed an order with yeah. us. We've called them on the phone and they're just as nice as can be. Hi, hi. it's me. We get it. We get an email. It's me. Uh, the item number on the pine pick <clears throat> is XS, so X-Ray Sam 6029. Uh, the candles, y'all, I think those came from... They came from at home at probably home. two years ago. That one broke. Which, the one of them broke. One of these broke. These are so cute. Mm -hmm. They're heavy, too. I would like to do my kitchen in... Peppies. Candy cane. Maybe she'll get an E. coli. I don't wish anything don't bad wish on anybody. Any bad. Bad, but that was bad, but y'all, you just have to I mean, shrug it off. I mean, the thing is, it's like, do you think I honestly have a business stealing a little old lady's money? 
I know. Anyway. People are crazy. All right, y'all. It's good to see everybody. <clears throat> y'all make sure there's a link Go at the bottom. Get, get your live stream ticket for Believe, which is our in-person event coming up next month. Um, and you guys can be part of it um, via internet. So, y'all get your tickets, and we will catch up with y'all. Maybe she was drunk. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all be good. We'll see y'all soon. Bye. Bye.